improperly formed chips can damage edges of your tap. Lower thread quality or get stuck in fluids and cause tool breakage. Like in this video, you definitely don't want it to happen. That's why we've created this video to make you aware of how to manage your chips in the best way. Here are some basic rules. A spiral point tap pushes the chips in front of it and drive them out of the hole. But of course, this is only possible in a through hole and not all applications are like this. In case of blind holes, choose a spiral foot tap. It will pull the chips up towards the shank and prevent clogging them up at the bottom of the hole. A faster spiral is great when cutting conditions are good. It clears chips fast and forms long ribbons. A slower spiral is better for tougher materials and when space is limited. It tends to break chips apart and works well when the tap is stationary and the part rotates. Go for straight flutes only in shallow holes, not more than one and a half times thread size. They are best for materials that break into short chips like cast iron. When planning a tapping process, think about two things. Chip flow direction and space for chip evacuation. For through holes, make sure there is enough space behind the part for chips to exit. For counterboard or stepped holes with spiral taps, check the flute length and neck clearance. Chips need space to escape. Some machines let you set a faster retracting speed than during cutting. This improves chips evacuation without wearing out the tool too fast. An interesting alternative can be a forming tap. It doesn't cut material, but deform it, so there are no chips at all. But like every method, it has pros and cons. More on that in another video.